and welcome back to another weekly vlog. It is now week nine out of 11 of the semester. So I really need to get my shit together this week, to be honest. I wasn't weekly vlogging last week, but I just had a very here, there and everywhere type week. I don't feel like I was actually sat and focused for long periods of time during the week because I just had a lot of other things I needed to do that kept getting in the way. So this week I'm determined to be productive. I'm determined to be super focused because I literally just don't have time to be faffing around anymore. Most of my deadlines are in January, which is quite good, although they're all in the same week pretty much. So I think my focus up until we break up for Christmas is going to be just getting on top of the weekly uni things. So making sure that I'm on top of the reading for every week, making sure that I've caught up on all the lectures that I haven't done. So then when it does come to Christmas, I have all of the materials and all of the resources available to do those assignments as quickly as possible. But Christmas is going to be super fun. I'm essentially going to have no time off because I've got three assignments, I think, an exam to revise for, and of course my dissertation, which is a whole nother story. <laughs> I've actually got a meeting with my supervisor about that this week, so hopefully I'm going to start making some proper headway from this week on with my dissertation, because currently I feel so behind. I think they're expecting us to have a whole written draft of the literature review by next week, not to submit or anything, but just so we have an idea of the stage that we're supposed to be at and I am not at that stage. <laughs> I've also got quite a few contact hours this week so <laughs> can you tell that it's all just getting a bit much now. I've got a two hour workshop this afternoon for my social media seminar and then also a lecture straight after that. So I'm in uni from one till four and I'm gonna head in now. Actually, it's 20 to nine because I need to catch up on a lecture before I have that workshop and do a few other bits and bobs before I have all of that teaching this afternoon. <laughs> should. I ended up coming back from uni slightly earlier. I came back at three-ish just because the lecture that I was supposed to go to after my workshop wasn't worth going to. And now it's coming to exam and deadline season. I do just have to be more picky with how I'm spending my time. Although saying that, I came home and all I've done since coming home is post TikToks. And even though that is literally my job and I'm doing it for a module this semester, it still feels like the most unproductive thing on the planet. But I'm just touching up my makeup because I'm about to go for dinner with my housemates because it's Megan's birthday on Wednesday, but we're celebrating today. We're going to Sukkotai, which I'm so excited about. If you're ever in Leeds, I would highly recommend it. It is incredible. <laughs>
day today. I hope you can hear me from over there. I'm just gonna pack my uni bag while talking to you. I've firstly got a very croaky voice. I think I'm coming down with that cold that everyone seems to have at the moment. I felt awful on Sunday. Yesterday, I felt a little bit better, just a little bit kind of foggy in the head. And today, I feel groggy, not foggy. I don't think it's helped by the fact that I really didn't sleep well last night. I slept quite restlessly. And it's not the best day to be feeling like that because first thing this morning at nine, I'm actually going for some sort of interview. It's with one of the university societies. I won't say which because I don't want to spoil this for them. I don't know if it's a surprise or what, but I don't really know enough details to actually say anything. But it should be a fun little thing for an article I think or some sort of journal so I'm heading off to the library to do that and then I think I'll probably just stay in the library because I don't have any contact hours today and I think all I've written down on my to-do list for today is reading and seminar prep for later on in the week so hopefully a more chill day work-wise will make me feel a little bit better because I really don't want to burn out with an illness because I don't have the time for that. So I've bought a new coat and I would love your thoughts because it's a long black one and the reason that I got it is because I don't always want my cropped puffer and the jacket that I bought a few months ago is just getting a bit thin now, it's not very warm. So I thought this one would be a good compromise, however I'll just do it up because I feel like it really gives dressing gown vibes. I don't know if you can really see it in this lighting and I can't decide if I'm vibing with it or not. I did wear it last night so I can't return it but let me know what you think. And also when I was really thinking about it I was like what's actually wrong with wearing a dressing gown outside? Dressing gowns are some of the comfiest items of clothing so if I can wear that outdoors then why not? <laughs> Wednesday today and I'm not really sure what my plan is for the day because I was supposed to have a seminar and a lecture today but both have been cancelled because the strike's going on this week. So I essentially have another free day up until 3pm which is when I'm meeting with my dissertation supervisor. I've booked another meeting already because if you've been keeping up with the vlogs you'll know that I had an initial dissertation
dissertation idea and when I had my first meeting with my supervisor the whole thing basically unraveled. There was lots of flaws in my concept so I had to go back to the drawing board. So over the last few weeks I've been trying to reformulate my idea and I feel like I've got to a place now where I know what I'm doing so I emailed a load of stuff to my supervisor about it and we're meeting to discuss it today. So hopefully this one doesn't completely unravel before my eyes again <laughs> and I think today I'm gonna work on some dissertation stuff. The way that I've been kind of structuring my weeks recently is I'll spend the first few days doing my weekly reading, catching up on lectures, doing seminar prep, then Wednesday, Thursday a kind of dissertation stuff and assignment stuff and then Friday is the day where I edit my videos. So I think today between 9 and 3 is when I'm gonna do more of my literature research, start planning out how I'm actually gonna structure that and write that and then pretty much straight after my this meeting I've got yoga which I'm excited for because I haven't been yet this week and it feels like ages since I've gone. today I've got my personal hairstyling team with me today going full glam for this 9am lecture. We need it. <laughs> Excuse me. Sorry. Oh yeah very nice. Sid came over last night so that's why he's here this morning. He's not just super early for our lecture. So we've both got our 9am leadership lecture today and then I've got two seminars I think. I've got a leadership seminar and I've got my strategic management seminar. What have you got today Sid? Yeah I've got the same as you but I just haven't got that strategic management one. Yeah and our seminars are at different times. Sid's in the one before me so he always tells me what's about to happen. <laughs> I always tell her if it's useful or not and then every single time I'm like oh that wasn't that useful like you know all of that she's like I'm going to go anyway yeah. but today it's all about exams which is crazy that we're at the point now where our seminars and lectures are about exams so I think everything is going to be useful today oh yeah and I also forgot to mention between my contact hours today I'm actually going to start making my powerpoint presentation because we've got a deadline for our social media module in less than two weeks time now actually where we need to present our strategy so that would be my strategy for TikTok and everything that we're doing regarding that so I thought I may as well start making that today because it's one of those days where I start something and then I have to stop it because I'm just here there and everywhere so it's hard to get properly stuck into things like reading or doing things for essay based assignments and I feel like that's something that I can easily pick up and then drop.
dinner time because I've just got back from yoga. I'm combining this with cooking time. Tonight in our household we're doing craft and fuddle night because what else would we be doing on a Thursday night at uni? For my international viewers that maybe don't know what a fuddle is, it's essentially where we all just bring loads of food and share it and we're going to be sewing little cushions that we bought from Hobbycraft. ignore our dirty tablecloth this definitely needs to clean but look how cute bright advent calendar this year is Sid's mum very kindly gave me this and it opens like a book and every day it's a biscuit so currently this is the highlight of my morning where is number two why can I genuinely not see it am I just being really stupid or where is two? Oh, it's here <laughs> I think this is the orangey one. I'm gonna have this with my coffee. Hello, it is Friday today. It's actually four o'clock and I don't think I've moved from this desk all day. I've just been editing this vlog. I have done a few chores and stuff. I like to wash my bedding and do laundry on these days when I'm at home. Cause I normally do spend Fridays just at home editing. So it makes more sense than going into uni to edit for some reason. At least in my brain, it makes sense. We also had a guy around for most of the day sorting out our alarm because it was broken or something. So the alarm has been going off all day, which has been brilliant, but at least it's fixed now. So that's a positive. And then I'm actually heading out for dinner again this evening, this time for Sid's housemate's birthday. I don't know if anyone else finds this, but I swear this time of the year, there's always so many birthdays, but I'm gonna end this vlog here because it's already pretty long and I don't think you need any more montages, but I hope you enjoyed and if you did make sure to give it a thumbs up subscribe for more uni vlogs and make sure to go and follow my other social medias too especially my tiktok and i'll see you in the next vlog bye